So, hi, it's Ian. My first, this is my first proper video with my OBS back. So that's neat. Um, yeah. I'm gonna be playing, oh um, yeah, my cousin's gonna be live streaming, but I put him on mute so that I can make this video. Cause I tried to do this video earlier with him on, but then I left a comment and then he started talking and I was just like, you know what? It's not worth it. <laughs> so yeah. So I'm gonna be playing Would You Rather or Ether or Liar Sane. I don't know. It's weird. The tab says something and it's a bunch of different things. Okay. So yeah. Anyways, let's get started. This one says always lie. I mean, this one says always tell the truth. This one says always lie. Um, I think that would be kind of tough because lying is bad, but always telling the truth would mean that there would be a lot of things that. I, there's just a lot of things in general that, I don't know, it's just hard to decide, because always telling the truth meant that, like, I think always telling the truth would just be a moral thing. You'd morally want to do that. This one says, always be sweating or always be appearing, always appear shivering cold. I'm always, I'm always sweating anyway, so, oh, that one says appear. Oh, and sweat. Always be sweating. Well, yeah, I am always sweating anyway. I drink a lot of water. Um, beat up a 7-year-old or beat up a 77-year-old? Well, I am 11, so from my perspective, it's a little different. Although, beating up a 7-year-old is still very bad. Even if I am 11, I'm still much older. And I feel like that would just be wrong. And beating up someone is bad anyway. But I feel beating up a 77-year-old... I don't know. My Nana, when she's 77, I don't know about that. But now she's only 60, I think. And she's pretty strong. I don't know about 77, but I guess I'm going to have to go with that. I'm sorry. I couldn't beat up a 77-year-old. Um, get a pain or annoyance, would you other? Okay. Get a paper cut on your hand once a week. Oh, I don't actually get paper cuts at all, so I don't know what a paper cut feels like. I don't imagine it would be that. The one time I got a paper cut, it didn't hurt at all. I didn't even notice it. Someone pointed it out. Or have one foot, one foot fall asleep every th third hour. What? Have a one foot. This one is bad grammar. Okay. Have a have a one foot fall, uh, asleep. Wait, what? Okay, this is confusing. I'm gonna skip that because I just I, that's bad grammar. Be a slave in the pre-Civil War South, or be a slave in ancient Egypt. I don't know much about both, but what I can say is that I think, th I know that both slaves were abused, but, like, I think the ancient Egyptian slaves would be, like, sacrificed and stuff. Uh, don't quote me on that, I don't know. But they could have. I, I don't know. This one. Okay. Would you rather win a one-day shopping spree to any store or win a two-week vacation to any destination? To any destination. Oh, boy. That would be tough. How about... A two-week vacation. I really don't know where I would go. A two-week vacation... Yeah, I don't- I'll take the one-day shopping spree. I have no idea where I would even go with that vacation. Be a third- This one says, be a third string QB for a bad NFL team. What does QB stand for? I- I don't- I'm sorry, I'm not- a, Oh, quarterback. Or be the MVP quarterback. For an, arena, for an arena football team. What does MVP mean? I, d I don't know. I, I'm not going to choose something if I don't know what it means. Lead a, lead a boring life. Boy, from here forward. Or reborn with, be reborn with all your memories into the baby of an opposite sex. Who boy, that is hard. Lead a boring life or reborn with all your memories. 
Um, well, my life's pretty boring anyway, so, yeah. Well, I mean, fun things do happen in my life, but a lot of boringness happens as well. Okay. This one says, if you were one of the Winchester brothers, would you rather be Sam or be Dean? I don't know who either are, sorry. Would you rather live an extra 25 years or live life without the need of sleep? No question. No questions. No questions. Be deaf and have no legs, or be blind and have no arms? Hmm. That's a tough one, actually. Be deaf, have no legs. I wouldn't be able to hear God anything. And I wouldn't be able to walk. But for this one, I'd be blind, and I wouldn't be able to make this video. Then again, I don't think I'd build it. would be hard. No, I could use a wheelchair. Uh, but then again, the blind and deaf one. I think there would be a way that I could bypass deafness a lot easier than bypassing blindness. I'll use my eye. I use my eyes a lot more than I do using my ears. So, being deaf wouldn't be as bad as being blind for me, anyway. As for the legs and arms part, I would rather have no legs because I could be in a wheelchair. And that would mean, you know, that would mean I, I could be in a wheelchair, so I'd be fine. I could have this computer and I can make this video. Well, the, I don't think YouTube is the most important thing to me. I just make it for fun. But still, the fact is, I would much rather, I would much rather be deaf and have no legs. I guess making this video would be harder, though, because I wouldn't know if the audio worked. I, I would find a way, trust me, I would find a way. <laughs> be attractive and poor, or be ugly and rich. Hmm. Be ugly and rich. I am already ugly. You don't, you ha you don't know what my face looks like, because I haven't done a face reveal. But just know, I'm pretty ugly. Uh, be attractive and poor. I would not want to be poor, and I don't care about being attractive. And this has nothing to do with being happy. Or not. And I don't think my emotions would be neutral either way from if I was ugly or attractive. Ugly and rich. To be honest, I don't care about my looks. If you had a daughter, would you rather have her die of terminal cancer at 18, have her kidnapped and sold into sex trade at... I'm sorry, but I would rather her die than do that. I know it's specifically um, from terminal cancer, but still. I don't know, I've never had cancer. I don't want to come off as offensive to anyone who has cancer. I am no I have no problem with offending people. Just just there's certain demographics that that I don't want to offend. Like people with cancer. That that's bad. But really bad. Don't okay. Moving on. Be an albino or be a ginger. Being a ginger isn't bad. I I don't know if there's anything with gingers. But I know with being an albino you would have to cover yourself because like you can't go in the sun because you'll like burn. But, like, I don't know anything about being a ginger. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know. All I know about is the hair color. I don't know if there's anything else to it. I don't even know if ginger is hair color. Wait, it is, it is it it? I don't know. I'm too lazy to look it up. Actually, no, I'm going to look it up. I don't care. Is ginger a hair color? Okay. Answered. I, I said I said answered. Sorry, I don't have my mouse because I'm outside on the porch and I have nowhere to put a mouse, so I'm using my keep my pad thing on my laptop. It's a good thing I it's a laptop, not a normal computer, or else I wouldn't actually be able to make videos with me talking in the first place. Well anymore because I'm in Ohio. Anyways, uh would you rather? Um every movie you watch replaces the lead role with Nicolas Cage, or every song you hear is performed by Nickelback? Oh, I don't know, actually. 
Okay, I'm, I want to do one more question, and I want it to be good. If you trapped on an Iceland, would you rather be stranded or alone, or be stranded with someone you hate? Oh, be stranded with someone alone. Be stranded. I would rather, cause the someone's I hate, I hate so much. I would rather die than have to be with them anytime. Well, yeah. Anyways, that's gonna be it. I don't want to make a very long video. So yeah, that's it. Bye.